Hello guys! So, in this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you a few tips how to handle indoor shadows for your top-down game. So, once your character steps inside a building, uh, walls and other props uh, probably should fade or hide. And you can face an issue where your shadows are also gonna be hidden. I'm not gonna talk about the wall occlusion technique, uh, only that I have the Diablo style wall occlusion tutorial here on my YouTube. Here we're gonna just make sure to bring back our shadows. Wall or prop occlusion may uh, happen with the help of material or by using the visibility node inside the blueprints. We're gonna start with the material first. With the help of shadow pass switch, we can provide the occlusion or uh, opacity logic to the default pin and with the help of scalar attribute 1 to the shadow, we can still have the shadow projection uh, even if our mesh uh, is invisible. So what's gonna happen by default? Now let me connect everything together. So I use this kind of logic uh, as the material function and I provide it to the opacity mask of my master material here. Also make sure that your master material has the proper blend mode, it should be masked. So the second case is when you don't use material, instead you use set hidden flag uh, applied to your actor or the mesh. It comes in handy uh, in case you have uh, the modular assets. Fortunately, I don't have one, so once I step inside the building, it's gonna hide it all. Thus, I can still uh, bring back my shadow. So all you need to do is to look for the hidden shadow checkbox inside the primitive component. It looks like this. So once you select it, even if your mesh is invisible or the actor, you still have the shadows. So guys, I hope you like this quick little tip. So as always, please subscribe to my channel, leave your feedback, uh, press like button and in case if you want to support me monetarily, you may follow up the link under this video to my Patreon and buy a subscription. So see you soon guys!